again. You want to pass more difficult license exams? You're welcome. I'm gonna warn you. Today we're gonna pass international basic license tests, international advanced license tests, and super license exams. Third course practice one, Smoky Mountain North. While jumping across the tricky jumping spot, head for the tight corner on the left. From the straight section, be sure to enter the corner on the outside and brake quickly to swerve out the rear tires and cut inward through the corner. Third course practice 2. Tighty Dirt Route 3. This is a test of right and left drifting through three consecutive hairpins. After using braking and steering together to drift through the corner, learn the faint motion needed to enter in the next opposite direction corner. Oversteer Practice 1 Front Wheel Drive Car This is a test of skill in driving an oversteering front wheel drive car which fishtails easily. When fishtailing starts, as you enter a corner, steer it to correct it while giving full throttle to steady the car. Counter steering opposite to corner may be needed. Oversteer practice 2. Rear wheel drive cars. This is an oversteering rear wheel drive car. Unlike FF cars, giving full throttle while fishtailing can cause a spin out. Instead, accelerate while counter steering to correct fishtailing. Do not abruptly change speed or direction when entering a turn. Multiply Corners 3. Here, a gently corner comes before a tight one. Start braking while you still feel the lateral g-force of the first turn. The key here is to brake from the inside of the first turn toward the outside of the second turn. Low Speed Slalom this is a slalom course, 20 meter interval. The right left steering should produce a lot of lateral motion and some spinning. Learn the rhythm of the steering and accelerator. Ease off the accelerator to swerve and accelerate to steady the car. Multiply corners 4. After a 90 degree right corner, enter a tight left hairpin. The strategy here is to avoid being too aggressive entering the 90 degree turn. Once you've clipped the left hairpin, wait until the car's direction changes before accelerating at full throttle for a fast cold time. High speed slalom. This is a fast slalom, long interval. The key is to keep the car steady and keep up your average speed by avoiding too much swerving that occurs when not accelerating. Finally, coordinate accelerating and steering and use acceleration to steady the car. Practical cornering 7 Retro Valley. This is the last section of Red Rock Valley. After the fast chicane, you must wind through a tight hairpin. Find a good line for entering the hairpin through the chicane and find the right point to go from throttle out of the hairpin.
the last lesson is practical cornering 8, Laguna Seca. Here is the famous corkscrew from Laguna Seca. You have to grope your way through since you can't see much ahead. There is an uphill before the breaking point and a downhill after, so break hard enough and enter the turn from the outside. Ok, so that's all we had for International Basic License Test. The price car is no surprise. For now you'll get only LM Edition vehicles. This time we have Honda CRX Del Sol. Ok, let's move on to International Advanced License Exams. So you want more challenge? Alright, it's up to you. International Advanced License is waiting for you. Be careful, this is gonna be a very difficult one. Circle Track 3, Oversteer Practice. This tests your skill in a powerful rear wheel drive car. If you accelerate while the steering wheel is to the left or right, you oversteer right away and start spinning. Learn how to accelerate just right to avoid spins and learn how to counter steer. Super Fast Corners 1 This is a set of fast corners. At the first right corner, the downhill goes into an uphill, so G-Force adds weight to the car and helps steering. The next left corner is on a hilltop, so the car is lighter and steering is weaker. Speed up at the last exit for the best time. Practical Cornering 9, Apricot Hill. This is the start of Apricot Hill Speedway, a tough section with two corners in a row. First, at a gentle left turn, turn in and cut inside of the green rock, then slow and aim for the outside of the next turn, a tight left. is braking while turning in. Dirt Course Practice 3, Smoky Mountain North. This is the vast dirt section near the end of the Smoky Mountain North. On dirt, driving translates slowly into a change of direction and you cannot trace well unless you consider the course layout with a quick, even tempo. Climbing Techniques This test is only for top drivers with high power monster machines ready for the challenging Pikes Peak Hill Climb Road. The key here is to know when to speed up, which the car responds strongly, and when to slow down for the best lap time. Be careful, this vehicle is seriously a monster, very fast. Downhill techniques. You're driving a front wheel drive car downhill on Pike Peak. This rally car wants to speed up and it's hard to slow down, so start braking early and keep your speed on target. It's a front wheel drive car, so if you lose control of speed, you'll start under steering.
Practical Cornering 10 ROM Circuit. This is an urban circuit test using a monster four wheel drive touring car. After the fifth corner on the ROM circuit, where the road narrows and racing is tough, there is a fast switchback at the Colosseum. The key to a fast time is to minimize steering and maintain high speed. Practical Cornering 11 Midfield Raceway. Here's a time trial from midfield raceway's middle to final stage. At the first long turn, control accelerating to prevent understeering. Find the right point to go full throttle. Keep your car inside the line when going from the chicane to the hairpin. Practical cornering 12, Laguna Seca. Here's a top driver test. Clearing the Laguna Seca course crew in a pure Le Mans race car. The car has a lot of downforce when going fast, but loses it when slowing down. Maneuvering gets more severe at slower speeds, so be careful when braking into a corner. Ok, so it's time for graduation test for international advanced license. Here you are driving a pure race car full of downforce as you maneuver a fast switchback. At the first right turn where you gain downforce, understeer hard to get on the outside. Do the same at the next left turn. Accelerating is the key here. Ok, so you had a lot of stamina to pass international advanced license exams. The price car is very good. You can afford Mitsubishi FTO LM Edition. It's time for super license exams. Think you can handle it? Let's give it a try. Let's do it. Super license exams. Something that makes a huge difference between men and boys and also women and girls. Time trial at Tahiti Road. This is a one lap time trial on the Tahiti Road course, which has several gentle corners. Although this course has no hard corners, you must be careful not to cut into corners too suddenly. Control speed by going to full throttle early on. Time trial at Seattle Circuit. This is a one lap time trial on the Seattle City course, which is full of tricky blind corners, steep ups and downs, and changing road surfaces. Try to trace a smooth set of curves between the walls of the course, but don't let those walls distract you.
time trial at Smoky Mountain North, a dirt course famous for its jumping spots and fast corners. Slight, nimble steering will keep your car under control over the series of jumping spots on the straightaway. Avoid sharp maneuvering. This is a rally track, remember. Time Trial at Midfield Raceway, a permanent race circuit. The first pair of corners, where the right line is hard to see, is crucial. Come out fast, a full speed section is next. Also, make sure you're gonna pass those hairpins at the last section without any problems. Time trial at Grindelwald, custom built urban course at the Alpine Resort. There are no sharp corners but you must accelerate correctly to clear the chicanes in the lateral switchback section and just before the main straightaway. Time trial at Rome circuit. One lap time trial on the Rome urban circuit using a touring car made by Peugeot. Urban circuit where you have many sharp line turns that makes it hard to see ahead. Make a fast start, watch out for those sharp turns and make a smooth line at full throttle through the fast section to pull ahead.
Time Trial at Laguna Seca, very popular American Californian circuit. The key here is early braking, because you're driving a fast Viper GTSR Timo Reca, late braking at any corner results in understeering. Enter the course crew from the outside and go smoothly inward. Brake when you see the last left corner. This shouldn't be so tough. Time trial at Tahiti Maze. This is a one lap time trial at the Tahiti Dirt Course's toughest challenge, Tahiti Maze. For a fast time, make compact turns through the series of tight hairpins. Accelerate long and hard once you start to drift after foot braking or side braking. Time trial at Rome set at night. Here is a tough course through the city lights of Rome at night. It's hard to use the roads full width due to the blind corners at night time darkness. You've got to learn the corners one at a time.
graduation test to finally get the last license is time trial at the Pricot Hill Raceway in a Toyota GT1 Le Mans race car TS020. On a Pricot Hill Speedway circuit designed for the pros, the tough combo starts with a first gentle corner where you cut in and head for the outside on the tight left turn head, going straight while braking to enter, go full speed after the last chicane. Okay, so we got all license exams passed and also we got the last price car that we can get from the license center. This vehicle is Toyota GT1 Le Mans TS020. Thank you for watching this compilation of license exams and I'll see you in a few days time where I'm gonna pass few tracks from arcade mode. Stay tuned for the next video and have a nice day.